it's a fantastic opportunity for people to work with an author and a translator on the translation of a book. I think everybody learns from it. I certainly do. And one thing you take away from it, I think, is the voices um, of the other participants helping you through the translation process. That's something that stays actually with you for weeks afterwards. Um, the translations that people do at the beginning of the course um, are sometimes a little bit halting, a little bit uncertain, but by the end, they're really confident. Um, uh, you can certainly see a huge change. I think quite simply my students learn how to translate literature. It sounds almost impossible, but they do through this process. Um, they learn how to think about how words are going to sound, how to construct a sentence, how and when to move away from the original meaning and how and when to move back to it. Um, no, I think it's a hugely enriching experience. The important thing, I think, is to get the translators working in groups with each other so that they're engaged in a dialogue. If you have 11 people in a room translating the same text, they're not really going to agree on anything. So you split them up into smaller units, and they can work much better that way, I think. Um, I also like to switch them around so that they get exposed to different voices and different ways of looking at things. Um, the translation process, if you have got the bug, is certainly an addictive one. Um, once you've started translating, it is such an intense pleasure that I don't think you can really quite give it up. Um, I've done lots of other things, but I've always come back to translating. Um, and I think at its best, when you capture somebody else's voice, um, you're, you're being an actor or a performer, I think, in a way. Um, but you know when you've got it absolutely right, and that's one of the greatest pleasures. It's quite, a, you have to enjoy your own company. I have to say, because you'll be alone quite a lot. But on the other hand, there is these days at least um, a very big community of translators. Um, and we're promoting the literature of our various languages. We're promoting translation generally. Um, we have meetings with publishers. We give workshops. Um, it's not quite as solitary as it used to be. Um, and I think most of us just love it, to be honest. Okay, two things. First of all, find a book you love. Take it to a, the right publisher. Um, very often that's going to work because they will be aware that you are passionate about the project. Um, read a lot. Read in the language that you're translating from, but also read a lot in your own language because you've got to keep it fresh. Um, you've got to keep having new ideas about how to respond to translation challenges. The chief challenge is making sure, I think, that you've got work lined up, unless you've got another way of earning a living. Um, and that's the most basic one. But otherwise, keeping abreast of literature in your own language and the language or languages that you're translating from, um, I think that, that, can be quite, that can be quite a challenge, I think, really.